Hi everybody, um, Brian Perez here. Um, I wanted to make another video about some fundamental saxophone technique. Um, I'm working with some students lately that have been working on some pieces that have more delicate passages through the low register of the saxophone. So I want to talk about uh, just one exercise uh, out of many you could do um, to help you work on your lower register. Um, especially uh, initiating notes in the lower register, okay? And this is just basically uh, um, an octave slur exercise um, that a lot of people, I'm sure, have done in their uh, beginning studies on the saxophone. And this is taking that exercise uh, through the low register. So, um, some things about the low register. The lower you get in on the horn, um, the more uh, precise you have to be with your airstream and your embouchure and your attack, okay? So hopefully this exercise will help you kind of get used to the, the lower register. The other thing is you have to just start to develop a relationship with those notes down there. I've seen a lot of students, uh, maybe you're playing your scales and you have to start your scales on a B flat and you get like a blast on those low notes, okay? So how can you start those notes with a little more nuance and a little more uh, control? So here's a little exercise I came up with, um, and hopefully you can see this, but <clears throat> basically we have an octave slur from your high octave to your low octave, and then we just try to start that note that you slurred down to um, three times, okay? Nothing too complicated. But what we're gonna wanna focus on is not using our tongue, okay? Um, using your tongue is a good way of helping the note start, but we're just gonna focus on using our breath. And if we just use our breath, then our embouchure has to be a little more precise. Our airstream, the direction of our airstream has to be a little more precise. Um, so we're gonna take some of the factors out of the equation. We're gonna just use a breath attack. So either a or a or a okay a breath attack to start the note okay so we're gonna slur from this top G I started on G and we're gonna go down by half steps start on G because G should just feel good G is a nice note on the saxophone you should be able to start a G in your low register it should just feel very comfortable um, and so what we want to do is take the feeling of this G Feels nice, sounds nice, responds really quickly. We want to slowly bring that down by half steps and try to match the feeling that we have on that G lower and lower on the horn. Okay? So we're going to start with a breath attack. And what we're going to want to look for is a quickness of response, how quickly you can get that note to respond. You don't want it to sound like, ha, ah, right? You don't want to go, Right? You don't want to have you want to have the note just respond right away, ideally. That's what we're going for. Just respond nice and clear. Okay? Quickness of response. The quickness of the response is gonna come from how you energize your air. <sighs> Pushing your air from the diaphragm and really getting that spinning. Maybe how you're shaping the air stream in your mouth so that the air gets quick and that reed wants to snap into motion really fast, okay? And then we're also looking at the quality and the stability of tone, okay? So we want to have that, we want to have that core sound, so that's why we first we do the octave slur, right? We slur down to the octave, we kind of feel what that note should feel like, okay, this G feels nice, all right? can we get that same feeling of that long tone really quickly, okay? So we want a quality of tone, we want it to sound really good, we want stability of tone. So as we get lower, you know, we don't want those upper partials to be present in the sound. We want kind of those lower fundamental qualities of the tone. Stability of tone, is it cracking, is it squeaking, is it, is it resonating with the purity that it should? Okay, and this is going to come from 
the nuance in your armature, very, very, very subtle shifts of, of how your armature is placed, okay? And that's the other part of why we start with an octave slur, okay? When you slur from your high octave to your low octave, you should feel just an ever subtle shift in how your armature is adjusting to that low register. You don't want to be doing any acrobatics up here, but there are some micro shifts that happen in your armature. It relaxes a little bit, it's not quite as taut, and so you feel that drop into where that fundamental tone sounds good, and then you kind of take a mental picture of that, like, he, uh, okay, that sounds really good. Here's where my armature is. Now can we start the note with that same muscle memory in our armature so that that lower note resonates really quickly, okay? So let's try this exercise. We'll go down by half steps. Now I'm not perfect at this by any means, um, so we're all gonna work on this together. It's a process, it's a practice, right? It's learning and it's developing this muscle memory. Okay, so breath attack, quickness of response, and the quality and stability of the tone. Okay, so we're going to start on a nice G. Okay, and you could set a metronome to it so that you're making sure that these notes are responding in time and quickly. Okay, but we'll just play it um, kind of with a general tempo in our head right now. Okay, so that responded all right. The, the low G felt good. I felt kind of a shift in my armature as I fell down to the low G, and then I tried to just continue that feeling through the pulsating of those um, articulated Gs with a breath attack, and I tried to make sure that my air was energized so those notes responded right away. All right, so now we're just going to go down a half, step, a half step to F sharp. Here we go. Okay, so that didn't respond quite how I would like it. Um, there's a little bit of an upper partial to it, and there's a little breath on the downbeat of, of the tempo that I was feeling in, in, in my head. Um, so let's do that one again, see if we can get a little more accurate. Maybe I need to come a little further down on the mouthpiece, maybe I need to take in a little less mouthpiece, maybe I need to relax my armature a little more, maybe I need to warm up my air. Just experiment with what seems to make the note respond a little more, right? So you don't have to go quick through all half steps. You can just sit, sit on, you know, E flat for, you know, 15 minutes if you want, just to really develop a relationship with it. It was better, you know, and may, if I had more time, I'd stay on that E flat and just practice developing a relationship with it, developing that muscle memory. Okay, here's D. Okay, we're gonna go down to C sharp. I'm gonna continue down. Some of these may be good, some of them I would probably wanna practice a little more, but it's a learning process. But I wanna show you this exercise. Okay, so I'm gonna go to C sharp now. Um, for Up until now we've been using our right hand fingerings and then just letting go of the octave key. You can also do it not using the octave key, using overtones. If you're not familiar with overtones, you can just use open C sharp to low C sharp. If you are familiar with overtones, um, I would highly suggest using the overtone on this when you get into your um, spatula keys um, because you're not changing your fingering, okay? 
So what you'll do is you'll just finger your low note, but you'll match the, the upper octave, okay? So it'll sound a little bit like this. So here, here would, be, would be with uh, open C sharp. Here would be with overtones. I'm gonna finger a low C sharp, play the middle C sharp. flat could use some work okay so this but this is an exercise that you could do um, for a while to kind of just develop that relationship so um, this passage I played in the beginning was from uh, the Desent Glow uh, prelude cadence at finale and uh, it starts on a low B which is not an easy note on the saxophone to make respond quickly and easily so we're trying to get a relationship with that low B so let's do that exercise one more time and then try that passage So I went from a note that was really comfortable, that middle G. I extended it very slowly and intentionally, is that a word? Intentionally, with intention, all the way down through my low B flat. My goal was to <clears throat> be able to start this passage on a low B um, with um, nuance and delicacy. Okay, so, <clears throat> so then my goal is at low B, so maybe I just play that passage over and over again until I feel that I have a comfort with that low note, and then I try applying it to my piece. So let's do it one more time. Again, breath attack, starting with the breath, so you're working on your armature, your airstream, your energy of your air, <clears throat> looking for quickness of response, that's going to come from the energy of your air, looking for the stability and the quality of your tone, 
and that's going to come from very subtle nuances in your armature. Hope it works. Um, I'll write this out uh, and I'll put it up on my website. Hopefully um, that's helpful and uh, let me know if this helps or if you have any other tips for working on your low register or pieces that require some of these passages. I uh, hope that helps and enjoy.